Bana Boy isn't who you think he is, from serving jail term in London to winning Grammy Award and even selling outside stadiums worldwide, here are 10 things you didn't know about Bana Boy. Kicking off at the number 10 he started making his own music at the age of 10 while most kids were playing hide and seek or video games Bana Boy was already chasing his musical dreams, imagine a 10 years old boy with an intense love for making tunes, he used a program called Fruity Loops borrowed from his classmates to create his own music. Bana Boy said people judged him and treated him unfailingly because he was young and had an Afrocentric style but he never gave up, he kept going working hard to achieve success. Moving on to number 9 his father worked closely to fella Alakun Nikolak Bokuti, where did Burna Boy's passion for music come from, well Bana Boy's love for music traces back to his extraordinary grandfather Benson Idenage, this amazing man was in charge of a band and managed renowned musician Fela Kuti who had huge impact in Africa. Adonaji worked closely with Fela for many years helping to spread his music and messages. Thanks to Donny J's dedication Afrobeats became famous worldwide and his contribution to Afrobeats are still celebrated today, Bana Boy aims to honor his grandfather's legacy by using his own music to promote African culture and identity. And now to number 8 he was born into a wealthy family, many people would not believe this but contrary to his paw boy Potacat who turned into gangsterism. Burna Boy wa actually born into a wealthy family. His father owned a welding company while his mother excelled in business and education, he attended private schools in Nigeria and super two prestigious universities in the UK which is not something that most people from humble backgrounds can afford to do. Interestingly Bana Boy has often presented himself as a hood boy, he has shared his stories in the slums and has also used his music to talk about street life and violence, however some people believe that Bana Boy's claims about his upbringing are exaggerated. They also say that his music is not actually about street life but it's more about his personal experiences and struggles, whether or not Bana Boy was actually hood boy there is no doubts that he has come a long way from bus humble backgrounds. Coming in at number 7 his mother is his manager, meet Boza Agulu a powerhouse mom who has been staring the ship for her talented son, she has been Bana Boy's manager for quite a while now. Boza Agulu is a strong and supportive mother who has helped Bana Boy to achieve success in his music career. She has helped him go secure deals with record labels book tours and collaboration with other artists. If you want to get to him you better go through his mama first, yes he is a true mama's boy and he wears that badge with pride. Are you ready for this shocker at number 6, Bana Boy is an ex-convict, Bana Boy's roller coaster of troubling troubling incidents, he was once involved with a gang accused of murder which led to his arrest and tying behind the bars. Despite being released for good behavior he had to complete parole and community services however he defied the rules by traveling to Nigeria resulting into 15 years ban from entering UK. These controversies coupled with other allegations such as assaults and lyrics have swirled around Bana Boy, nevertheless his popularity as an African artist remains steadfast. At number 5 he was the first Nigerian artist to headline at UCL finals, Bana Boy made history when he became the first Nigerian artist to perform at the UEFA Champions League 2023 final. The final was held in Istanbul Turkey where Bana Boy performed his hit song Way before the match, Bana Boy's performance was major moment for African music. And let me tell you Bana Boy absolutely nailed it his performance earned thunderous applause both in critics who were left in O and fans who were left screaming for more, Bana Boy himself said it was an honor to perform at the final and that he was proud to represent Africa. With a round of applause at number 4 he is the first Nigerian artist to receive back-to-back -back Grammy nominations. Bana Boy is not just a musical genius but he is also a record breaker and award magnet he made history as the final Nigerian to score not just one but two Grammy nominations in the row. And guess what he even took home the prestigious Grammy Awards in 2021 so let's break it down in 2020 Bana Boy got nominated for the Best World Music Album for his incredible work African Giant although we didn't win that year props Angela Kidjo for snagging the prize he showed the world his undeniable talent but the story doesn't end there. Fast forward to 2021 and Bana Boy was back in the Grammy race his album Twice as Tall got nominated for Best World Music Album and guess what he snagged the Grammy Award and made history as the first Nigerian artist to do so in over eight decades, 
Bana Boy's award collection doesn't stop at the Grammys he scooped up some serious recognition at the BET Awards the MTV Awards Africa Music Awards, MTV Europe Music Awards MOBO Awards Brit Awards NME Awards and the Hedis and that's just named in a few. This man has a jaw-dropping trophy cabinet that would make anyone jealous. Coming in hearts at number 3 Bana Boy because the first Afrobeats artist to sell out at the OVO Arena Wembley, Bana Boy made history when he became the first ever Afrobeats artist to completely pack the OVIO Arena Wembley in London, England with a jaw-dropping capacity of 12,500 people and guess what every single ticket was snatched up within hours. It was an unforgettable moment that firmly established Bana Boy as one of the Africa's most extraordinary superstars, getting closer into number one at number two his first album sold a thousands of copies. His debut album L, I, F, E created seismic impact selling an outstanding 50,000 copies on the very first day of its release in Nigeria. This extraordinary feat etched Bana Boy's name in Nigerian music history as the fastest-selling debut ever I mean ever critics and fans alike couldn't alike but shower praise upon the album recognizing its outstanding fusion of Afrobeats reggae and dancehall, it showcased Bana Boy's exceptional talent for blending genre seamlessly. The album also boasts that collaborations with some of the most revered names in African music including Whiskit Olamide and Two-Face Idibia. Bana Boy's success with LIFE put him on the map as one of the most promising artists in Africa. And finally the moment we have all been waiting for the number one thing you didn't know about Bana is he has a net worth of around $20 million, although Bana Boy implied that he made $100 million back in 2022 according to various sources his net worth is estimated to be around $20 million as of 2024. Now let's dig into how he is piling up that cash well it's all thanks to his ethic music career you know those catchy tunes like Roller Coaster Common Person and Last Last they have been hitting the charts and filling his pockets but that's not all. Bana Boy has also been stacking cash through touring and savvy investments when it's showtime at those fancy events you best believe that our Afrobeat singer brings in the big box. He charges over $400,000 per performance and let me tell you this is rocks at the stage at all the hottest spots. From the glamorous Grammy Awards to the legendary Hollywood Bowl he has conquered them all. Bana Boy is also Spotify royalty he has almost 20 million monthly listeners can you even imagine that with numbers like that he is making bank around half a million dollars every year just from Spotify alone oh and did I mention he is also a brand ambassador yes Bana Boy the face of multiple brands like Oremu he is also the poster boy of Martel Konag and Starbeer all in all it's safe to say that Bana Boy is swimming in riches and there is no doubts it will keep growing over the years. Ahead. So there you have it that's all for today facts about Bana Boy if you enjoyed this video please like and share with your friends and if you're not already subscribed what are you still waiting for please do so for more awesome videos like this one, see you in our next video. Yeah.